Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video. And with this one, I've got a pretty big update. This could possibly unravel a lot of the efforts that have been made throughout Shadowlands to make PvP gear the best gear to have in PvP. So if you weren't aware, moving into Shadowlands, there was a lot of advocation for a PvP vendor. Then after that, there was a quick realization that the gear wasn't that good on the vendor. So it was not only enough uh, to be able to purchase the pieces that you wanted, those pieces actually had to have good stats on them. Those pieces needed to be desirable. So what they did to make those pieces on the PvP vendor desirable is add a trinket bonus. By wearing two PvP trinkets, you would gain 40% increased offensive capabilities from the versatility stat, which meant that they could put versatility on every single piece Piece of gear on the pvp vendor and if you were wearing two pvp trinkets then this was clearly the best stat to have in pvp which meant that these pieces of gear would be the best pieces to have in pvp and there would be some pieces from pve that would also have versatility that could have some overlap as well but if you wanted to have your main focus be pvp you could get majority of your pieces from the pvp vendor and have those be your best in slot and that was great progress towards making that vendor relevant and being able to provide the players with an avenue to gear up in PvP. Because if you'll remember from playing Battle for Azeroth, if you did like I did, you had to do a lot of Mythic Plus to get your correctly statted gear, to get your Haste Mastery, for example, on a Restoration Druid because that wasn't available uh, from the PvP gear and the PvP gear was also awarded to you randomly. Uh, which, I mean, that was another level of frustration that we're not really gonna talk about with this. Um, but what I've found is in 9.2, with this update is that the first build of patch 9.2 adds a new change to the PvP trinket set bonus, that trinket set bonus that was intended to make that gear the best gear in PvP, right, from the PvP vendor. This bonus is meant to replace, so that 40% increased benefit to the offensive portion of versatility is gone and replaced with this. Having both trinkets will now provide increased primary stats and stamina instead, which basically only guarantee that the trinket slots from the PvP vendor should be your most desirable, but Perhaps not, depending on if there are new trinkets from PvE that aren't nerfed in PvP um, or somehow slightly squeak ahead of these trinkets. This double trinket bonus might not even be the best in that position if that ends up happening. Um, and it only guarantees that these two trinket spots, if anything, assuming that it's made to guarantee these trinket slots, it only guarantees the trinket slots. Because this means if you're playing a class that doesn't prioritize versatility, all of the PvP vendors have versatility-dense gear. So if you happen to fall into one of those camps and you're one of those specs, there could be a good chance that the PvP vendor gear will not be your best gear. I can see perhaps why they're thinking this won't be an issue because they've increased the item level on PvP gear. Um, but I've had past experiences in the game in Legion where PvP gear was the highest item level gear in the game that you could possibly get. And I was on top 10, maybe the highest item level geared person in the game at one point. Um, and I went into Raid Tomb of Sargeras with a guild and everyone was looking at my item level expecting me to do this insane damage. But it was just this Mitch match of not good stats whatsoever on that gear. And I was doing less damage than the Raid Finder geared equivalent of my spec. And it wasn't a learn to play issue in this regard. It was just clearly because secondary stats are that important. Think about Arcano Crystal from Legion. You wore that trinket the entire expansion regardless of its item level because secondary stats are that important. Sometimes item level is not enough. So that's why I'm worried that the thought here is that higher item level in PvP means that this gear will still be the best gear to wear in PvP, but I'm worried that it may not end up being the case. And this can be really, I know, confusing to think of on, on, the, on the top of your head. Um, so that's why I wanted to make the video to talk about it rather than typing it out in text to try and make it more clear. And I think the intention of this is to try and make the other stats more competitive, right? So that you can wear them. Uh, I think that's where this is supposed to go because I've seen posts saying that it's boring, that versatility is your best slot um, and there's no room for creativity, right? And that, that, okay, that's a fair remark to make. How many of those players are actually going to be creative? Because what's going to usually end up happening is the creative choice is just going to be a lot less effective. You're going to play with it for a couple of games, get frustrated at playing lesser, uh, a lesser effectiveness, and you're going to go back to the stats that you were originally playing. I think the best case scenario that comes as a result of this change is that you may have two different sets of gear for PvP. You may have an anti-rogue mage set of gear, which is your best stat plus versatility. And then you may have a, st a set of gear that is your two best secondary stats, maybe haste mastery, crit, haste, crit, whatever combination, right? Where you know you're not going to die in a stun. 
So you'll kind of have the Vim and Vigor Defender of the Week from Legion Honor Talents, where you're picking one where you know you're not going to get attacked to get maximum effectiveness of your damage, or you're picking a build where you know you're going to get attacked for your maximum tankiness. So what this may end up just happening is you'll farm two sets of gear. However, the one set of gear you'll farm that'll have a stat plus versatility, which will be still good into things like Rogue Mage, I would imagine, would then mean you need to do something like Mythic Plus to get the Crit Haste or the Haste Mastery because those stat allocations do not exist on the PvP vendor. So this is, again, it's only really dangerous for the specs that don't prioritize versatility, and there are some. Um, something like a Windwalker Monk is probably not going to notice this. They're just going to wear the same amount of the same gear they were wearing. But maybe if you're a Resto Druid, um, and you want to prioritize now into haste mastery that gear is not going to be there on the pv vendor it's going to be all haste verse mastery verse um, and you will be less effective and again those different situations so and i'm not sure that it accomplishes the goal of this creativity effort right um, in the past we had stats like resilience on the pvp gear so you could have any combination of hit crit or haste crit mastery whatever versus didn't exist and resilience was the base that held that pvp gear as the best in pvp this old set bonus that's getting replaced made versatility basically resilience now that's the that's the anchor it's holding this as any piece of gear with that stat is the best gear to have and then you can play around with the other stat and i've i've honestly played around with the other stat a lot on different specs like my boomkin has a a verse a haste and a verse mastery set to try with different builds and different covenants so i was still able to flex those stats regardless of versatility being the anchor but i liked versatility as the anchor so that the gear that i was getting from the pp vendor was my best gear in PvP. So I just wanted to make you make you all aware of this, kind of talk about it, maybe get your thoughts on it, try and really get my my point of view out there. My biggest concern with this, again, is that this possibly means that the gear on the PvP vendors, assuming they don't reallocate the stats to be your best stats, means that it could be inferior gear that is rewarded for Mythic Plus that you may then need to seek after in Mythic Plus rather than PvP. So I thought I thought it was an important discussion point to have. And I've seen a lot of people arguing with me on Twitter, so I'm not sure if my my opinion is coming back or if my opinion is easily understood um, with what I'm talking about. I think that your creativity is going to be limited um, because you're going to play the best stats. Just This just means that versatility might not be your best stat anymore and you're going to have to get the gear from somewhere else. But pretty much all the rest of the dudes in PvP, the competitive rest of the dudes will wear all the same gear. All the shamans will wear all the same gear. You're all going to wear the same gear. It's just that now it's not, you know, simply put the best gear from the PvP vendor. It could be gear from something else in the game. Hopefully the item level on the PvP gear um, ends up being enough. But then I'm not sure what this really does because you're still going to wear the versatility on that gear anyways. Like I, I don't even think that this change does anything. Um, because if the, if the increased item level on the PvP gear is so that you wear the PvP gear, none of the PvP gear has those other stats anyways. So it seems like you're, it seems like a change for no reason, even um, at a certain level. If the intent is to keep the best gear on the PvP vendors, you'd either have to add all of the different stat combinations to the PvP vendors, which then could possibly have problems with PvE, um, because then PvE would have to PvP to get that gear because it's a deterministic gear vendor to get that gear from. Um, that would have been a better solution, uh, is to just make it so all the stat combinations were available on the vendor so that you can go in there and you could do whatever you wanted. You could tweak it however you wanted the stats to be for your character. That I think would be a better one, but I don't know how likely that is possible. Um, but it's something to keep your eyes on. Um, you definitely wanna stay up to date with guides for your spec because this could mean that your stat allocations are gonna change in your gear. Might even mean that you wanna farm different gear leading up into this patch in preparation for this patch, uh, possibly, depending on what spec you are again. If versatility isn't your primary stat regardless of this set bonus. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about it. Seems like it's a really big change. Seems like there's a bit of controversy around it, at least from me tweeting about it. A lot of people were either kind of confused or upset with what I was trying to say. And I just wanted to get my perspective, get my point of view out there uh, with this video. And hopefully it's understood. Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave it with a thumbs up. Again, this channel is meant to be a great resource for you to improve your experience with World of Warcraft or to potentially grab your interest in it in the future. Uh, and other than that, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.